Hello, my name is Hamish Goodwin, and I am a management consultant in the Technology Services Division at the City of Toronto. This year, we are focusing a lot of attention on the Digital Infrastructure Plan, which will include a series of public consultations and other engagements with stakeholders and partners. We have prepared this short presentation about the Digital Infrastructure Plan to provide you with context for these upcoming meetings. Digital infrastructure is changing the way we deliver municipal services, leading to a number of positive outcomes and better management of public assets. As the use of digital infrastructure increases, the city is developing a digital infrastructure plan. The DIP, as it's called for short, is intended to help guide day-to-day -day and long-term strategic planning decisions. We recognize there's a lot of unknowns when it comes to this realm, and the DIP is intended to help bring clarity and certainty for residents and stakeholders. It's important that we have a shared understanding when it comes to what digital infrastructure means, what it looks like, and how it relates to the overall DIP. We've taken a broad approach to defining digital infrastructure as being infrastructure that creates exchanges or uses data or information as part of its operation. Residents interact with or benefit from the city's digital infrastructure in a variety of ways, including accessing information from the city's website, using the COVID-19 chatbot, paying for city services online, using automated meters to monitor water usage, and the use of sensors to improve road safety. This slide includes some of the related decisions and directives from City Council. Following public consultation at the end of 2019, City Council adopted five principles and vision statements as the foundation of the DIP. At the same time, City Council provided two further important directives. One of them was regarding consultation on a commitment to the City's control and autonomy of its core digital infrastructure, and the other was on consultation regarding the highly sensitive nature of data collection associated with children. So what is the Digital Infrastructure Plan? The plan is being developed as a tool to enhance transparency, accountability, and consistency of decision-making related to the city's digital infrastructure. In the tangible sense, outside of the five working principles adopted in 2020, it doesn't formally exist yet, but we are in the process of building it out. Many of the policies already exist, so part of the process to develop the plan is to ensure that these policies are valid and current and to make them more accessible. Another part of the process is to ensure policy gaps are addressed, and these will also be integrated into the plan. And finally, a key component is to establish a governance model that is responsive to the complexities of decision making in today's digital realm. This slide shows the five working principles that were approved by City Council in January 2020 and how they relate to the overall DIP. Each principle has an associated vision statement which expands on the intent and meaning of that principle. This slide helps show how the DIP is taking shape so that you can conceptualize how it is organized and what it will look like. We are using the principles as the main organizing element of the document. Each principle will have its own chapter. We are drawing on the themes embedded within each principle or within each vision statement to expand upon the intent and objectives as they relate to the vision that we and you have for our city. Descriptive text is used to help convey this vision and explain the concepts. And finally, each chapter will have a series of policy statements which provide more specific guidance on how the principle and vision will be achieved or implemented. So you can see that these policy statements carry a lot of importance and they will form the bulk of future consultation related to the DIP. So how will the DIP be used? Many existing regulations and policies already address a number of related topics, personal information and privacy, for example. The digital infrastructure plan will build on these existing regulations to enable a consistent approach for the evaluation of future digital infrastructure initiatives. Proposals received before the digital infrastructure plan is complete will be examined in light of both existing processes and DIP principles to determine the appropriate evaluation process. Our experience to date 
in doing this has been somewhat challenging because there weren't always measurable criteria in place to allow for an objective evaluation against the working principles. As an interim measure, we have developed an internal guideline to help staff in the evaluation process. But this experience highlights the importance of getting these policies in place and in getting them right. The timeline on this slide shows the journey that we are on to develop the DIP. A lot of work took place in 2019 and early 2020 related to formation of the five working principles. Further work is needed to respond to specific directives from City Council, such as examining a commitment to the City's control and autonomy of its core digital infrastructure. Some of this work is ongoing and will lead into further consultation in the fall of 2021. During this time, staff will continue collaborating with other cities and experts to learn from their experiences. But ultimately, it is important that the DIP reflects the visions and aspirations of Toronto. So if you hear about an upcoming consultation or engagement, we would love to see you there. If you have any questions about this presentation or related issues, you can contact us at digitalfeedback at toronto.ca. Thank you.